Today's topic is Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, or SIDS. Sudden Infant Death Syndrome is defined as the unexplained death of an infant less than one year of age. SIDS is suspected when a seemingly healthy infant is found dead following a period of sleep without any sign of distress or serious illness prior to the incident. SIDS may occur in infants and children lesser than 16 months, but risk peaks in infants between 2 and 4 months of age. Also called crib death, SIDS is considered the most common cause of death for children under the age of 1. Causes The cause is unknown. However, SIDS may be associated with abnormalities in a part of an infant's brain that is responsible for sleeping and arousal from sleep. A combination of factors can make an infant vulnerable to SIDS and may vary from child to child. Some of these factors may include respiratory infection, low weight at birth, sleeping on the stomach or side, premature birth, overheating, unsafe or old crib, sharing a bed with parents or pets, the family history of SIDS, sex, males are at a higher risk than females, race, babies of African American and Native American descent are twice more likely to die of SIDS than other races, babies who live with people that smoke are at a higher risk. The mother during pregnancy may affect the baby's risk of SIDS, especially if she is a drug or alcohol user, cigarette smoker, under the age of 20, has inadequate prenatal care. Symptoms SIDS doesn't have any noticeable symptoms, as it happens unexpectedly and sudden. Diagnosis The cause of an infant's death can be determined through process of investigation. This investigation may involve collecting information and conducting tests and procedures. The certain investigation that helps in determining SIDS death may include post-mortem laboratory tests that are done to rule out other causes of death, an autopsy to determine the exact cause of death, a thorough investigation of the crime scene. Parents, caregiver, and other family members may be interviewed. Items may also be collected. Reviewing the family or medical history. This allows knowing if there has been a previous history of unexplained infant deaths, cardiac death, and genetic disorders. Prevention. Currently, there is no way of predicting which infants are at risk for SIDS, but you can help your baby and reduce the risk of SIDS by following these precautions. Breastfeeding your baby. Placing your baby on his or her back to sleep, both at night and during nap times. Keeping your baby's face clear of coverings. Avoid overheating your baby. Have your baby sleep in your room with you, but alone in a crib or other structures designed for infants. This should be for at least the first six months or a year. Don't allow smokers around your baby. Firm sleep surface should be used in your baby's sleep area instead of fluffy loose beddings such as lambskin. Immunize your baby. Educate daycare providers, babysitters, grandparents, and other people who care for your baby about the risk of SIDS. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.